when you have lost um, facial motion, since that's part of what we came to talk about today, mm -hmm. um, you have to appreciate that there are many muscles that allow you to have facial expression. It's not just one big muscle, like your quadriceps muscle in your thigh mm -hmm. or your biceps muscle in your arm, although there are other muscles that make your arm work too. But these are little tiny muscles, and so when you're going to get good facial reanimation, you can bring muscle in, so you can take a muscle from the leg, your gracilis muscle, and bring it up and put it in the face and hook its nerve up to the nerve that moves your face. And now when you think to smile, the impulses that come down your facial nerve now go to the nerve to your gracilis, your leg muscle, that's now hooked up to your face. But the delicacy and specificity of motion isn't there. So a challenge that we have to overcome then is to get the precision and delicacy of facial motion which is going to require many different nerve filaments going to different muscles that start in different places and attach in different places. So for instance, there's a little slip of a muscle, the longest name of a muscle in the body, the levator labi superioris at allocate nasi. I know. There's a mouthful for you. It lifts the lip and the wing, the ala, of the nose. So it's just a Latin term that says that. But it's uh -huh. a little tiny muscle that comes down. And its motion is more up and down. You've got one of the nerves that allows you to smile that comes out the corner and functions more horizontally. Another smile muscle, or a pair of them, come from this direction and work obliquely. And part of the smile, you usually think of smile as an upward, outward kind of motion, but part of the smile also can pull the corner of the mouth down. So you've got different vectors of little tiny muscles, each being individually innervated. When you've had a bad injury or an ablative tumor resection and trying to restore normalcy, you don't have that yet. Mm -hmm. So when you do a face transplant on somebody, you're bringing in all those little muscles with the soft tissue and the bone, oh, yeah. and you're hooking the trunk of the nerve up to the trunk of the nerve of the patient, so you get much better mm -hmm. precision and specificity.